Hello. This video will explain and demonstrate some recent changes which have been made in POS CAD to better manage and ultimately expand how it handles the many different type of TIN models which can be created in the software. This is being done through the creation of the TIN Manager feature in POS CAD. The TIN Manager was first introduced in POS CAD in version 18 of the software and is a tool where a user can view all of the TIN models created in a POS CAD model and can manage each TIN in a single dialog, including selecting the display options, adding and removing TINs, replacing TINs, and hiding TINs that are displayed in a particular view window. Now TIN is an acronym for Triangular Irregular Network. Most users of PLS CAD are very familiar with the ground TIN, which is used to create a ground surface model made up of interconnected triangles having the survey terrain points at their apexes. The ground tin is the most commonly used of all tins in PLS CAD. Now other tins that can be created in PLS CAD include the lightning protection surface tin, the electric and magnetic field contour tins, the vegetation clearance and worksite tins, the wire surface tin, and several types of ISO clearance tins. Each of these are optional tin models that can be created by the user when needed for their particular project. So each one is not always created for every PLS CAD model. Now, prior to the development of the TIN Manager, there was no way to manage all of these TINs in a single dialog, and most of the non-ground TINs could not be saved with the PLS CAD model, and therefore had to be recreated each time the PLS CAD model was opened. Now, this is not the case anymore with the new TIN Manager feature. Here, I've opened an example PLS CAD model, and the TIN Manager dialogs that you'll see are what you'll find in version 19.0 of the software. Now the TIN Manager can be found here under the Terrain TIN menu. In this dialog are all of the different TIN models which can currently be created in PLS CAD. Now each one of these can be shown individually on the screen by either double clicking the TIN model or highlighting it and hitting this button here. In this case, I'm going to render the triangles for the ground tin, and now I can see the ground tin on the screen below me. With the tin manager, you can display multiple tin models at the same time. So, for example, I will highlight the wire surface tin, and I will display those triangles also. And now, as I zoom in, I can clearly see that I have a ground tin on the bottom at the structure base and a wire surface tin up in the air where the conductors are. Now, if you're not familiar with the wire surface tin, this can be created in PLS CAD in the survey point clearance report. And what the wire surface tin represents is the envelope of all of the wire positions that were considered in the survey point clearance report. Now, as I zoom back out, go back to the tin manager, we have an option to hide all of the current TIN models, which I will use here, and now they are all turned off. Alternatively, you could have selected each individual TIN and turned them off one by one. Now another feature with the TIN Manager is the ability to save a TIN. So if I highlight the Lightning Protection TIN, and I'm going to turn that on so I can see it on the screen. Now, I can go ahead and I can save that TIN if I would like to by hicking, clicking this button and giving the TIN a different name. I'll call it Full Line Model because it's a lightning protection TIN of the entire line. So now that is done, if I go in and run another lightning TIN model here under the Lightning Protection Calculator option, this time I will run it for just a few structures on the line so it runs quickly and I can see the differences. So I will select this option and calculate the lightning protection tin. Now at this point in the development, it is only possible to save one tin model at a time. So now this new lightning tin model that I ran, you can see is shown here on the screen for just the first seven structures of the line and back under the TIN Manager, you can see it listed here. 
Now another feature within the TIN Manager is the ability to replace an existing TIN model. So in this case, I can hit the Replace button to replace the current Lightning TIN model with the full line model that I saved previously. Hit the OK button and now refresh the screen and now I can see the original Lightning TIN as opposed to the last one I ran which only covered the first seven structures. Similarly, there is also an option in the TIN Manager to add a TIN model. So if you currently did not have a TIN model of a certain type in this list, you could click the Add button and bring in a previously saved TIN model. Now in addition, you can also remove TIN models from the list, and this will go about and delete the TIN model from your PLS CAB model. So I can highlight the particular TIN and click the Remove button, and that TIN has now been removed from this project. And in order to get that TIN back, I would be required to go back to the command that created the TIN and rerun it, and it will be added back into the list. Now previously, before the TIN Manager, TIN model display options were accessed using this option right here. And you can see this is the same as what is you can access through the TIN Manager dialog. Note that now, if you hit the OK button, you will get a different TIN display option for each of the different TIN models which is saved in the TIN Manager. So I can select this several times to cycle through the different models that are available. And now that is, are the current features that we have available in the TIN Manager. We are also continuing to develop the TIN Manager capabilities. So look for changes and additions to the dialog in future versions. There will be changes to the TIN Manager dialog box and user interface. And we also have plans to add additional TIN Manager capabilities. For example, a significant feature we'll be adding in the future is the ability to manage multiple TINs of the same type, including ground TINs. Another planned feature is the addition of a new TIN called a Surface TIN. Now the Surface TIN will be similar to a ground TIN, except it will define the surface of above, above ground objects and areas, like a building, a bridge, or maybe a tree canopy, for example. So keep watching for these exciting changes and additions to the TIN Manager feature over the next few versions of PLS CAD. Now, for more information about our software, including additional videos and technical notes, please visit our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, or other information, please send us an email using the addresses on the screen. Thank you for watching this demonstration and for your interest in PLS software, the industry standard in overhead line design.